So an integral part to a CSP or a cloud solution provider's um, offering is the data center, the platform. Um, obviously, it's very important where that, is, where that data and application is sitting from the customer. Um, so it's good for you to understand how we're built out and what we're doing to, to be um, on the front end of the technology when it comes to that stuff. So to start off, um, proximity to the data center is key. Um, latency is one of the biggest factors to cause performance degradation within a customer. So what we've done essentially at Rapid is we've built out geographically dispersed data centers across the United States. What this allows for us to do is no matter where that customer is within the United States, we're going to have a data center close enough to them to provide that sub, call it 30 milliseconds, um, to the customer, thus enabling a, a, a high level of performance um, from that. So mention that we do have the geography dispersed within the United States. Um, we also do have some points of presence over, over the pond in Hong Kong and Amsterdam um, that we have as well for a lot of our global, um, our global customers. So understanding how we, how we lay out our, our platform across the globe, right, within the United States and, and over the pond internationally, you know, the other important factor here is to understand, you know, what's actually running within those data centers. So first of all, we do not own the data centers, but we do own, operate, and, and manage all the gear within those data centers. Now, one of the things that we did very early, um, and we continue to do this today, is, is we preach standardization. So for us, we're running what's called the Cisco FlexPod, um, which, you know, for, you know, for all intents and purposes, is, is a, a combination of best of breed technology um, into a stack in order for us to provide a, a hosting environment or a hosting platform. Um, one key feature to, to note with this is all of our production environments um, are running on the NetApp SSD storage. So it's flash storage, it's high performance, um, typically an upgrade from what the customer is doing today. Um, is something that should be noted because that is a, a major factor when it comes to, to performance and end user experience. Now the connectivity within the data centers is, is very important. So we built out 100 gig backbones to connect all of our data centers. Now the one thing to be, to be mindful of on your end too, which is a differentiator on a rapid scale, is the, the, the ingress, egress bandwidth that the customer is using at the data center. So we do not charge for this. Um, a lot of companies you'll see that they, you know, they have you know, 50 megs, it's burstable to 150, and there'll be charges and kind of nickel and diming. With that, we, you know, we, we're not in that game, right? We don't charge for the ingress, egress bandwidth, which is great for the customers. Um, the last piece of this that I'll say is for, the, for our managed Velo Cloud offering, we have built the gateways into all of our data centers. Um, so from that perspective, the customer can connect to the data center um, and the gateways and we're not charging for that service um, that they're having. One of the key components to, to a data center is the security and compliance that comes along with it. So from the Rapisco side, we have all tier three data centers that are all SSAE 18, SOC 2, and PCI DSS. Now some of the components that make up a tier three data center are credential limited access, key card protocols, biometric scanning systems, digital surveillance and recording, secure cages, of course, and then last but not least, bulletproof glass. All those round out to make a very secure data center that's redundant, that's got the power supplies to be able to still be up and running in the event of some type of, of issue that went on around them. So kind of round it out, kind of the, the, the top three things that we kind of reviewed here that, that you know, we should bring some light to is of course, the, the proximity to data centers and where they're located, of course, Having multiple data centers in the United States is going to allow for these customers to build in redundancy for their data as well, which is huge as well as redundancy on our end. The second component is going to be the standardization and the best of breed technology and infrastructure that we're running our cloud out of within all the data centers. And then last and not least, um, the third piece is going to be the security and compliance, which is huge. It's a checkbox, especially if you're going to be playing within the financial space or even healthcare at this point. A lot of these verticals that require you to have specific credentials within these data centers, we're going to check off all those with, with the tier three data centers.